Hello everyone! Today we answer your assumptions. I asked you guys on YouTube and Instagram to make assumptions about us and I received so many assumptions and I'm so happy because I can actually make the video. So let's start because we have a lot of things to answer. I didn't, I didn't see about list. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a long list. So I divided <laughs> this video into three categories. The first category is relationship. So things that are like Brian and Sonia. Second category is future because you guys made a lot of assumptions about our future. And third is just mixed. Thanks for you, thanks for me. We'll try and be honest and concise. You ready? Yes. First assumption was, I assume that if there is a leader or decider in the relationship, it's more you than Brian, talking about me. Oh my God, it's already difficult. I don't think we have a clear leader or decider yeah. of the relationship. It's pretty balanced. Yeah. I know that's like what society wants to hear, but it's actually true. It's true case. for once. In my previous relationships, it was never balanced, but now it is. So Who was it? Cool. All my ex-boyfriends, never balanced. I was either the leader or I was whipped. Second, so this entry was in Italian, so Brian will translate it. Since Brian's not the classic <clears throat> Italian man, I imagine y'all were good at dividing house chores, which... Yeah, God, I feel bad for any classic Italian who's gonna be with Sonia because what's the classic Italian? What's that supposed to mean in classic Italy? The woman does everything. Yeah, things are changing. Because we're anything yeah. from that. Because I do a lot of house chores. Sonia cooks, but besides cooking, I think I step in. Can we be honest? We have a cleaning lady, so none of us does a lot. Yeah, she comes for a few hours a week. When we were in Japan. I have to say it was kind of 50-50. Now it's more like cleaning lady does most of the chores, I cook, he cleans the dishes. Honest. Third question. So I imagine there's some competition between y'all being YouTubers. Can I answer? Yeah. No guys, honestly. I love my little community, but Brian's the YouTuber of the family. I don't even say that I am a YouTuber, even though I'm so proud of what I have. Thank you for watching this. You're on my channel, not on Brian's channel, but... But Sonia is also a way better YouTuber, I have to admit. So... Why do you say Maybe that? my audience is bigger right now, but she's a better YouTuber. I don't think so, but thank you. Next! Y'all don't seem jealous, and it's pretty true, yeah. Our jealousy levels are pretty low. I wouldn't say I'm really jealous, but sometimes if you talk to Brian, he will tell you that I'm the most jealous girlfriend on earth, but no, guys. No, no, no. I wouldn't say that. Of course, Sonia has jealous moments, but in general, nah. Brian is not. He's really not jealous. Sometimes, rarely, it's happened, usually not. Next. I bet Brian made the first move. Um, nah. Sonia did. Wait, it depends. It depends what you define as a move. Yeah, like I first contacted him to hang out, but it was just because I wanted to show him around. Then, I didn't contact him anymore, but then he kept saying like, hey, can we hang out again and again and again? And then when we were together, finally, I kissed him first. So, I don't know. Even though, yeah. The kiss was inevitable. I think we both, yeah. I guess she beat me to it, but it was coming either way. Next! I imagine you're the one who decides which TV shows to watch together. That's 50% true, 50% false. Like, in general, I'm definitely way more picky than Sonia in terms of what shows are we gonna watch. Like, I don't like many shows, to be honest. He so. doesn't like anything. So, yeah, I choose what to watch. Anything, no. I definitely like some stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we've watched and I've been like, that was good. But yeah, a lot of stuff I'm like. Sonia would watch anything. It could be like a $100 budget show about like a grandpa who <laughs> falls down and then his journey in the hospital. And Sonia would be like, mm, I like it. I'd be like, Sonia. No, I don't watch comedies. Yeah, actually she's kind of picky too, genre wise. We watch one episode and he's like, nah. One episode, nah. One episode, nah. What's wrong with that? If I don't like it, I don't like Whatever. it. I'm not gonna be like, I'll watch it. Next. Oh my god. This says, I suppose that one of you was still a virgin before meeting the other. Should we answer? Um, no. I'm an Aquarius. He is Taurus. Next 
is the next category. Let's move on to the future. This was by far the most asked question this time. Oh, yeah. By far, I picked one, but there's probably actually, re let's read two. I bet Sonia can't wait to become a mom. I think you, Sonia, you want children before him. I bet you want a big family, kids. Children. Do we want children in the near future? Do I really want children right now? Okay, I'll answer. I know, I'm not getting any younger, but I feel like I am still kind of young. And even though I am married, honestly, we're not trying to have children right now. Not yet. And it's pretty weird because I have always thought that when I was a kid, I thought <laughs> by the time I'm 26, I'll be pregnant. And then I was 26 and I was like, no. I think there's nothing wrong with getting pregnant even at 23. Like, I don't know, you do you. But I know that once you have a kid, that kid is your priority. And I think I am still, um, I'm not ready mentally. I am a bit selfish in the sense that I still want to travel and experience some things. How so dare you? I'm just saying that even though I think I would want to be a mom and I think I'll be a very good mom, I don't feel ready yet. I agree. I mean, Sonia and I both want to have kids, but we're not, that's not at the top of our list right now. We'll revisit that subject in a few years. How many years? I guess we'll find out. We'll see. Second question, this was the second most asked question about our future. Where will we live? So, the first guy says, Brian wants to live in the United States or Japan. He seems tired of Italy. You, Sonia, <laughs> want to live in Colorado. Brian would like to live in Colorado. So it's all about where we want to live. So which one do you want to answer? The first, Brian wants to live in the US or Japan. He seems tired of Italy. It's such a complicated question. Depends on so much stuff, but I don't think I want to live in Japan. I mean, I like visiting Japan, but I don't think I would want to live in Japan like long term. I already lived there for two years in a row, and that was a nice big hill of Japan. And maybe the same type of thing would happen with America. I don't know. I mean, I do love Colorado, but I'm not sick of Italy. I, I have a love-hate relationship with Italy. Generally, it's not hate. It's not ever hate, but sometimes Italy frustrates me. Yeah, that's part of life as a foreigner, but I also kind of like living a life with so much stimulus like you're a foreigner because every day is like special or unique or something i don't know guys this is really <laughs> a hard topic it's definitely definitely big in our relationship we talk about it a lot it has caused and it will cause a lot of pain sonia wants to live in colorado i love colorado colorado is cool colorado is a bit too cold for me though i'm a little worried about snow plus brian's parents now live in florida so it, we would have to choose between colorado and florida because you know it's not only colorado anymore i don't know right now we have a very comfortable situation in italy it's convenient guys and i've always said i just want to see my family like at least once a year oh yeah and in that time i see them it's not like for a week or something it's usually like as i said like spurts of living so that's the most important thing it's really not easy guys really it's really. a complicated thing mm -hmm. meh hard next category is mixed so questions for sonia questions for sonia brian um the first question interesting so the first one's like you guys come from wealthy or well-off families let's be honest wealthy define wealthy define wealthy i didn't suffer as a kid i had a house i went on vacations i basically had a good childhood and i'm lucky i mean we're um, not rich by any means but exactly i'm not rich Could i, I was that? rich with love <laughs> <laughs> Same, but also like to give you an actual example when I turned 18 they bought a car for me So yes, yeah, me too when I was 16 my brother and I had a car I think we're lucky and we should just be thankful. No complaints. Yeah. No complaints second This one is for me. It says you're obsessed with your weight and with being skinny um, I do care I do care about my appearance. I do care about my weight not necessarily about being super skinny because I have a specific weight that I like and if I go under, like sometimes when I'm sad, I don't know why, but I lose weight and I don't like that. But I'm obsessed maybe is a little bit too much. Like if I want to eat pizza and pasta and something else three days in a row or on my vacation, I do that. Do you think I'm obsessed? No, it's 
the normal healthy amount of attention to your health and body. I care. Like That's most nice. people anyway. Good. Three, this is for you. Ha, <laughs> I don't know if you want to answer this. Brian votes for the Democrats. Mm, honestly, I'm not a big fan of Democrats. I'm not a big fan of Republicans. I don't like anyone. Um, so you don't vote? I'd rather not say. Okay. I but respect that. I, I'm not a big fan of anyone. I'm, and honestly, when I say like talking left or right politics, I'm literally central and my mind looks this way and I'm like, ugh. And then my mind looks this way and I'm like, ugh. So I find myself in the middle. There are a few candidates out there I like who in this specific candidate I'm referring to, he is Democrat, but yeah, politics. Don't worry, don't worry. Next one is for me. So someone assumes that Sonia hates explaining why she doesn't eat meat, but she eats fish. And you are so right. I've been a pescatarian for 15 years and I am so tired of having to explain why I eat But fish. it's also maybe because the reasoning's not too well founded. Like, And I agree. The reason is just because she doesn't feel bad for fish. Like, the fish life is not as important as the pig life. Actually, no, there are a lot of reasons. So, oh, why why, what's to... the reason? <laughs> My god! Explain it. She hates when so, she has to explain this. Yes, because I had to do it so many times. First of all, people are right. It's not coherent. It's not a good, flawless reasoning, and you're right. But you do what you can. And I believe that if I had stopped eating fish when I was 14, I don't know if I would have stuck with it. Also, every time I eat fish, I know that that fish died eventually, like, because of me, because I'm eating it. And I am okay with that, like, I can accept that. I don't feel comfortable when it's a pig or a, a cow, maybe because I'm a mammal and they're mammals, maybe. But you know what? You do what you can. Plus, I mean, there are more pros of eating fish than eating meat. Right now, I'm like, oh yes, you're right. I don't eat meat, but I eat fish. I'm so, I'm, I'm not coherent. <laughs> Next! Ooh, here, this is for you. Brian follows more YouTubers than Sonia. I'm more of a browser on YouTube. I mean, I do have specific people I like. Some of them have stopped making videos. My favorite YouTuber is Casey, nice dad, Mr. Beast. I'd say that I follow more YouTubers than you. Sonia's more like, I like this person and this person. She's less like, what the random video on YouTube? I'm loyal. Today? I'm loyal like you guys. And I know that you're loyal. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Subscribe. Because I am loyal. I have my YouTubers and I just follow them. I've been following them for years. Well, who are they? For example, Sarah, like Sarah's Day. Australian. I really like her. She's Australian. Stephanie Buttermore. She's American. Yeah. And I have like my skincare experts. I follow people. You like the hairdresser guy. Oh yeah. Brad Mondo. He's hilarious. I like that guy. <laughs> Next. This is for me. You are a perfectionist and you don't like uncertainty. Brian is more go with, go the, with flow. the flow. It's pretty good. That's pretty true what I would say. Yeah. True. But it makes us a perfect couple. Yeah, I do all the worrying. And I do all the calming down. Next. Brian can rap faster than you. Come on! Is that even necessary? Not in Italian. In Italian I can rap faster. Posso fare così veloce così? Next! This is for me. You can't eat spicy food. Oh, can this be for me too? Okay. I love spicy food. Even though my body would make it seem like I can't eat it because I start sweating, my nose is like, ah. but I just love it. Oh, I want a burrito with like the hottest spicy sauce and just eating it and just being like, and like dying inside, but I'm loving every bite. I like spicy food, but not too spicy. Even, it's not spicy, but like wasabi. I kind of like when you accidentally get too much wasabi and like your face burns uh, and you're just like, and I'm, I'm kind of just like, <laughs> enjoy the pain. Sometimes it's like, <laughs> now, I know we have so many assumptions and I really want to try and answer them I don't all. care if this video is long, you don't have to edit it too much. Brian likes to be the little spoon. Who made this assumption and why did they make this assumption? No. No, Brian doesn't like to cuddle in bed. Yes, he doesn't like to cuddle in bed. I, do. I would love to cuddle every night. He does like this for like two seconds and he's like, uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. All right, let's set the record straight. Sonia claims that I don't like cuddling. Maybe why? Because all I ever do is massage her. And if I'm massaging for an hour, I don't want to then cuddle. I'm just like, okay, now I'll fall asleep. But sometimes and I don't want you to massage me. I just want to be next to you, close to you. And you're like, uncomfortable. Yeah. 
This is for me. You become friends with your students. Yes. Yes, totally. Especially if I have a student for a long time. You know, you talk for one hour a week one hour and my lessons are conversation based so conversation is the most important thing so i'll do anything to make you talk and speak and i also open up so yes you know one hour a week may sound like it's little but it's probably more than most people because you might even be around someone for so much time but you don't just sit and talk for an hour non-stop only talking so you get to know people and yeah of course you become friends next when sonia gets mad she doesn't yell that's pretty true. Honestly. Pretty true? I don't really yell. She doesn't really shout. Neither does Brian, usually. I have my moments. Sometimes, you know. Not frustration. Oh, wow, this one is kind of deep. Your parents are not together anymore and you've suffered from it a lot. True. You probably saw, or maybe you haven't, but my brother died when I was 18 and uh, my parents, it's very common, like they, they got a divorce and of course I felt like my perfect little family was like torn apart and dis dismantled and uh, why did I say dismantled? So yes, that was very painful because I had my little nest with my brother and my parents and then I felt like, you know. But luckily my parents are still friends, uh, they talk, I found a new balance. The family is, everyone's still super amicable and nice. And yeah, good. to give you an example, my dad still goes on vacation with my mom's sister. That's really good. So last one, this one is from Brian's mom. You guys are dorks. <laughs> you are. Yeah, she is too. But yes, we but have we our are. dark side. We are dark. We have our dark side. Who doesn't have it? We always make animal sounds in the house. I'm not willing to admit that on camera. <laughs> so guys, did you enjoy this video? Do you have other questions? If you enjoyed it, let me know because I love making these videos. It's so fun. Thank you for sending me a lot of questions and thank you for watching. Bye. See you guys later. Bye bye.